A peaceful protest organized by a group concerned Nigerians to advocate for the release of the leader of the Revolution Now movement, Amoyele Shawari, turned violent when operatives of the Department of State Services DSS fired at protesters. The DSS fired live rounds severally and shot tear gas canisters into the air to scare protesters. One journalist fainted under sport, while the camera of a rise news journalist, Stanley Ebay, was seized at gunpoint. The DSS continued to chase the protesters along Asso Drive, firing into the air sporadically. Playwright and critic Professor Wale Shoinka has called on the civil society groups to unite and defend the rule of law and fundamental human rights. Shoinka stated this in a statement titled Shoare Human Rights and the Rule of Law, following the federal government's refusal to release the detained publisher of an online news medium, Shara Reporters, on Wale Shoare after meeting stringent bail conditions. The federal government, through the Department of State Services, has refused to release Shore and his partner, Olawale Bakari, for calling for revolution via Revolution Now protest despite court orders ordering their release. The Nobel laureate said it should become abundantly clear by now that civil society organizations committed to the entrenchment of the rule of law and the defense of fundamental human rights must come together. This is not a new cry. They must meet, debate, and embark on a binding pact of tactical responses whenever these two pillars of civilized society are besieged by the demolition engines of state security agencies. The sporadic, uncoordinated responses, as in the case of Amoyle Shore, the absence of a solid strategy ready to be activated against any threat, these continue to enable these agencies in their mission to enthrone a pattern of conduct that openly scoffs at the role of the judiciary in national life.